Good morning, everybody. I figured I let y'all follow me around. Y'all have seen me brush my teeth like over and over and over again. So you ain't gonna see me do this, but I did wanna let y'all know what I was doing today. And I'm gonna do my little workout. Um, probably gonna get something to eat. Like I said, do my little Target run, my store runs. I gotta go to the bank and do my cash thing. I forgot about that. So yeah, just be ready to follow along with me. And it's gonna be my first time taking my camera everywhere because as y'all can see, I don't update y'all a lot because I am very shy. I'm still shy to bring my camera everywhere. It's just so weird to me, but I'm getting used to it. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. I love this stuff. Like, look, 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 look. But she belongs to me. She not some kind of trophy. Why would she go throw this all away? So I'm gonna use this good molecules pineapple exfoliating powder. This is a new item that they sent me, and I've never tried it before. Well, I have tried it before, but it was like one of the products that came in my bundle that I gave away on Instagram not too long ago and I really love this stuff. I get really dry skin around my nose so I do this about four times a week. It's literally um, a, a powder okay and then I put like a couple of drips on it. It's really how much you want on it. I put a couple of drips because it has these little you know little rocks or whatever not rocks but like it's like crumbs and the the more wet you get the powder the less of the little crumbs will be on the on your hand but if you use a a little bit of water you get that exfoliation around your face i'm gonna be honest now i don't like the smell of this it to me smells like vomit it smells like vomit but um, it does what it needs to do, so I definitely just make sure I clean the hell out of it. Cause to me, it stinks. It just it doesn't smell like pineapple to me. It smells like baby throw up. So you know, when I do a review, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna just. Oh my god, this is great! No, it stinks. It stinks bad. But it to me it works, so we'll say that. So I think they're gonna have to I know they don't wanna put like like fragrances in their products because they're um they're natural. All their products are very natural, so this could be pineapple. Some like real real pineapple. That shit stinks. my friend. I shouldn't I saw it in she belongs to me. She not some kind of trophy. Why would she go throw this all away? So after I work out, try to cool it down and like get either a little work done or just some personal business done. So right now I'm about to pay the light bill. I'm paying all, not all my bills, but I'm paying half of all the bills that are due this month. That is the goal for March. Let's start a budget, stay on budget. Back, I'm about to feed the dogs. I am fully dressed. Um, I'm gonna feed them. I'm gonna let them out for a little bit. Outside is raining, so y'all need to see this. Like really muddy out there. And then I'm gonna get ready to go so I can 
actually I'm gonna get a pedicure across town before I start working. Like that's one of the reasons why I like going across town is because it's a whole nail shop in there. So I'm gonna get my feet done. I think I'm gonna get a manicure so I can put the press ones on when I get back. And I might do a little video of me doing the press ones. Just I don't know. I'm gonna do that. You not even worth the fight. Who knew she had double lives? My girl said she low with me. Yeah. So I just left the nail shop, right? And I went to Gloss Nail Bar in Crosstown. And I'm leaving Crosstown, by the way. I was gonna do a little work, but I'm hungry and I really want some sushi. And the meeting that I have next isn't like a really important one for me so I'll be off camera and I figured I'll just go to a restaurant and eat and hopefully there's some Wi-Fi there but yeah so back to my point so I'm in gloss and I get a pedicure a French pedicure and I get a manicure with no polish and just a basic manicure why is my total a hundred dollars I got a $51 pedicure the the, the um I'm sorry I'm just really irritated about this the French was a $10 edition whatever but then she charged me for a manicure with pedicure for $18 and I'm like why are y'all charging me for a manicure with pedicure and she was like, well, if I charge you for just a manicure without it, it would have been $20. $2 off? Like, why? first of all, why is a manicure $18 when I don't get polished? I'm not getting anything. And so I have decided that I will not be going back to Gloss. There have been, like, a lot of isolated incidents at that at that place like I done left there my toes have been hurting leaving there one time but I really 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 like the atmosphere there that gets you in and out honestly so that's why I keep patronizing them and then I was going to the one by my house but they always do a shitty job so I started coming to Crosstown since I get my you know work done there too and I'm just like they're just really 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 taking our money and I really don't like that I really I, I know the owner is very rich because the people that work there like never hesitate to tell me that she's very rich and owns a lot of these places but I just feel like quality over quantity like yeah you keep opening these gloss nail bars all over the fucking mid-south but let's let's make sure the quality of what you're charging people is top tier because I've had some shitty experiences there and I really always try to give people the benefit of that. When I have to speak up at a nail shop, that's when I know it's time to move on. So I just wanted to rant real quick because that just pissed me off. I don't even know what I spent a hundred dollars on. Ooh, this girl getting arrested. Only in this. But yeah, I don't really I'm really not sure what the hell I spent a hundred dollars on. Is not adding up to me. There was another charge that I really should have. I should have got a receipt, cause that it ain't making sense. But yeah, I just needed to rent, and I just didn't even want to be in there anymore after that. It was like I was asking her to break down why I'm being charged for a pedicure with manicure. Like you're just you just adding on charges at this point. So. Hey, I'm ready. Um, can I do an order of your fried tofu roll? And then can I do a half order of spicy crawfish? Mm -hmm. And then 
a small, like, they have like a shrimp fries. It's only one size, though. You know, it's the appetizer. How much is it? It should be $12 in the front. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. And that's it. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> You know it is on sight You not even worth the fight Who knew she had double lives My girl said she love with me Find out she had double me She knew that this troubled me The girl is mine The girl is mine The girl is mine The girl is mine Why would she 
she the throw this all away. The girl is mine. 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 Trust you, you go throw this all away. Then you smile right in my face. What was a lie? But I love you. In my mind, I see your face. Maybe we can still play. It won't serious anyway. The girl is mine. The girl is mine.